23 on page 68. We're going to start this. We might not be able to finish it, but we will do our best. We have two parallel arrays here, Arrow Movies and Arrow Tickets. Let's have a look what we got. It's like opening a present. Arrow Movies is array 1 to 10 of string. And look at all the movies they've put there. 10 movies. Then we have Arrow Tickets, 1 to 10 of integer. Nothing is put in that array. Okay, so that's fine. Now this is not a constant array, so we can sort them, we can rearrange them, the names in alphabetical order if you want, which we will do as an extra to the activity. So, a, var a variable called I, L, I items tracks the number of items in the array. That's a global, these are global variables, okay? I items is the number of boxes that are filled. I don't know what I integer is for. They're going to tell us now. No, maybe they won't. Determine and display which movie has sold the greatest number of tickets. But we haven't got tickets in the boxes yet. Let's see what code we have. Some tickets have to be allocated in order us to find which movie has the greatest number of tickets. And the movie that is the least number of tickets. So... That is going to be tricky because where are all the tickets? Are the tickets randomly generated? And yes, they are, I think. Yes, they are. There you go. From 0 to 99. Yeah. Let's go and have a look. Run the program. So, random tickets generated. We don't have to worry where it came from, but the tickets are given, are put into uh, AR tickets. There's a display procedure written, and when they display, they cleared the rich edit, set the tab stop, and then they added the AR movies and ARR tickets into the rich edit. So that's done. Now all we have to do is worry about this the hit or miss button, which is the first one. We have to find which is the highest and which is the lowest number of tickets sold. So that's easy. We're going to have two arrays to go through. Double click, highest um, hit or miss click event. We're going to use a for loop to go through our array, both arrays. And it helps that they are parallel because we know that what we do in one, we can go and get to the corresponding array box of the other. If we want to display one movie, we can get the corresponding number of tickets from the, for that movie. So we'll go through AR tickets and find which one is the highest. Do you remember our algorithm for getting highest? What do we do? We make the first box equal to the highest and then we go through the rest of them, don't we? So I'm going to do just that. AR tickets, square brackets, one. That's going to be my highest. Then my for loop is going to go from 2 to 10, and we're going to see which one is the highest there. We will do the same for lowest. I think we've done this before, haven't we? I'm sure we have. We'll make our lowest equal to the first one as well. Then we will go from, for k, equals 2 to 10, to begin and end. There's my skeleton code. I'll give you a minute. I think you're all caught up. And we have an if statement. If, are we dealing with AR tickets? And is AR tickets integers? Yes, it is. If AR tickets 
square brackets k, if that is greater than our highest, we can copy and paste, then we will do something, begin and end, and we'll do the same for our lowest. So if it's less than our lowest, we copy and paste that line and replace that greater than sign with the less than sign and replace our highest with our lowest. So we are we doing two things at once here. We're going to figure out the highest and the lowest for each one. When we find a highest at the end of this for loop, our highest is going to be the highest one. Well, so the first thing we do is say our highest colon equals AR tickets square brackets K. That's the first thing we want to do. We'll do the same for the lowest. Our lowest equals AR ticket square brackets K. But there's two things we have to do, and the second thing is very important, and it's easy to forget. Very easy to forget. This. We need to keep record of what K is. What is K? We're going to get a variable and hold K safe. So that at the end of the loop, we have our highest and we'll have our pos highest. Colon equals K. We also have our pos lowest. Take note how I make a, I use a variable before I declared it. It's fine. I can do that if I want. I can go and use a variable and then declare it afterwards. But this is the trick here of this one, because they want us to use the same box number for the actual movie's name. You know what I mean? We have to get the corresponding movie name that corresponds with AR tickets. But the best way to do it is to keep a track of what K is. So once we've, when the highest is allocated, then we get that box number for that highest number, for that highest uh, amount of tickets. This is the trick here of this program. So at the end of our for loop, we can safely go and put in our display component, the movie name for the highest number of tickets and the movie name for the lowest number of tickets. We can also go and display how many tickets there were, you know. So, our pos highest, our pos lowest. Okay, fine, I'll go and declare those. Our pos highest, comma, our pos lowest. This program won't run if I don't. Then we're going to go to our array name, Aeon Movies. <coughs> Da, 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 da. Ah, okay, okay, got it. Right, now we're going to go and display inside rich edit. So we say already out dot lines dot add double inverted commas. And then we say already out dot lines dot add. Put in our movie name. Um, highest number of tickets and then we're going to join that to our name of our movie AR movies square brackets not K but I pause highest and then we can even go and say how many tickets there was
Now this has to be joined, obviously, inside my rich edited lines that add statement. And we can join that to <coughs> int a space into string our highest. But remember, our highest is our number of tickets that were sold. Our highest, and then we can even join that again to make it really messy. Tickets sold. Yeah, big long story we can put in there. Or you can say most popular or least popular, you know. Copy and paste to display the lowest. Uh, pause lowest, make sure we put in the variables that we want. There we have it, folks. It's done. Okay, so you can run your program and see if it works. <laughs>